This is TV3 KARD Television, Wichita, Kansas. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Well, hello there. Sarge and I would like to welcome you to yet another installment of Conversational Shaving. Isn't that right, Sarge? applied some of this to my face, as you may be able to tell. It's the Perazzo Menthol, uh, the large pre-shave cream. They used to call this uh, the Miracle Cream when it first came out years ago, I guess. And um, let me set that aside. My razor is going to be this twist to open adjustable. It's the uh, short handle Black Beauty I think it's also called the Super Adjustable Gillette. And I'm going to start out, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it'll be on this number seven setting because I've got three days worth of growth here. In there, on what will be its fifth use, use excuse me, and uh, you, you can use these things, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes up to 20 shaves or more. It's the old Persona 74 Tungsten Plus blades. And uh, that thing's empty now. They all kind of came out of there in one. They weren't really rusted together. I'm not sure that tungsten rusts, but they were kind of stuck together. I had to get needle nose pliers and yank them out and they all came out at once. But uh, it seems to be okay on its fifth use. Uh, the 74, uh, that that is the uh, chemical number, the atomic number, I guess, on the chemistry chart for uh, tungsten. So that's what that means. And maybe they came out in 1974 too, I don't know. Anyway, my cream is going to be this Palmolive menthol cream. And I've already lathered my brush, which is the uh, Frank shaving, conversational shaving, brush, the official brush of this channel, available still, I believe, on Ali, and I lathered in this the Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl. I wanted to get a blue or green one, I think, but they didn't have those available. They just had red and some other colors when I ordered mine. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to get a lather going here, and I hope you're all doing well out there. So I'll just sort of more or less paint this on, I guess. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, the nice palm olive scent with some uh, menthol in there. Maybe menthol and eucalyptus, I'm not sure. Smells, smells nice. Feels nice. Yeah, very nice. And uh, scent strength of about eh, four or five out of ten, right about where you want it. Let me wet the razor now. <clears throat> okay, and here we go. Pass number one with the grain. I don't usually. Uh, use this high of a setting on these Gillette adjustables which go up to the number nine but I've got quite quite a bit of growth here really over three days worth of growth a little bit over The shave is nice and smooth so far. I'll flip the razor over and uh, get this side of the face here. Do 
do a bit of a Gillette slide there. You know, the cats are trying to fight again. I heard them, uh, whatever sound they make, howling or yarling or whatever you call it. Uh, anyway, excuse me, I'm gonna rinse the razor. Well, the cats seem to have calmed down for the moment. Pretty nice shave so far. I hope it all goes this way. Rinse time again for the razor. Oh, I've been... <clears throat> I've been kind of exhausted lately. Didn't do a shave last week. Almost didn't do a shave this week. I mean a shave on camera anyway. I've uh, deferred this shave long enough. garden is blooming nicely out back and I've taken to trying to get that portion of the lawn back there by my garden looking better. I uh, put down some Scott's Turf Builder uh, weed and feed stuff. It's supposed to be fertilizer for the grass and uh, weed killer at the same time, granular stuff which I apply, it's very finely granulated and I apply with this little handheld thing, the cheapest thing I could get to, uh, well you, it's got batteries in it, probably watch batteries or something, I don't know, and you, you press this little button or pull a trigger or something and it it spreads out the seed and you're supposed to walk uh, walk with it at a steady pace according to the instructions and um, it seems to be working pretty well. I also uh, got a little impatient and bought some spectricide um, weed killer which I, um, it's harmless supposedly to the lawn, to the grass, but I sprayed it on some of the tougher weeds, like this bindweed I have out there, which is horrible, ins insidious, whatever stuff, it's just terrible. I'll be right back for a second pass across the grain. Okay, we'll go across the grain now. I didn't dial this down, I'm still on setting number seven. The, um, extra cream, the, uh, the pre-shave cream, I think that might have been causing the razor to clog up a little bit, even on this relatively high uh, adjustment for the razor, relatively high setting. I hope, I hope that, uh, that rinsing is quicker and easier on this pass.
because that pre-shaved cream is relatively thick. Okay, I'll rinse the razor and uh, we'll see what happens here. Still, I tend to make my lathers maybe a little pastier than they should be, and that just adds just a, the least little bit of time to my rinsing of the razor, so I usually cut it out for time considerations um, in these videos. Almost always I do, anyway. All right, so These new old stock uh, Persona 74 blades um, are pretty good. And on this shave, well, it's the fifth use of this blade. Because like I said, you can use these blades for perhaps 20 shaves or more. M most gentlemen can anyway, but... Uh, this is the most comfortable shave I've had with one of these. Although I think I was beginning to press a little too hard there. I, uh, until that moment, I think I was, uh, doing a pretty good job, uh, without really thinking about it too much. I was doing a good job of, uh, not pressing too hard and letting the weight of the razor do most of the work, or at least a lot more work than I sometimes let it do without pressing down. Must be a bad habit left over from my uh, disposable and cartridge shaving days. Well, that's enough for that pass. I don't want to overdo it. I started to press too hard again. I was getting a little bit of irritation and more redness than is necessary. And I'll be right back for a third pass and we'll go against the grain. Well, uh, in this country, uh, palm olive only sells uh, dish soap and uh, bar soap for the bath. And the bar soap's getting hard to find, and it's not very good. It's very drying, but it has the the green color and the the uh, menthol or not menthol. I'm sorry, the the palm olive scent. To my knowledge, palm olive doesn't sell any mentholated product of any kind in this country. I had to, well, like most of my shaving stuff, I had to go online to purchase it. The, uh, the palm olive menthol cream in a tube. I don't think palm olive even sells, uh, any kind of shaving foam anymore, or goo in a can, in this country anyway. I don't know what they sell overseas. I should check and see.
I wonder if there's anything still sold here that is branded as Colgate, because Colgate and Palmolive became the same company in, in this country, at least. I'm gonna rinse the razor. Yeah, where I, where I did uh, shave a little bit too uh, roughly, uh, too heavy-handedly, and got was feeling irritated on my neck. Uh, that cooling menthol cream sure makes it feel better anyway. over here now. I'm trying to repair once again this uh, old bird, or not a bird house, a bird feeder that somebody fairly long ago nailed to a tree outside on the property here. And I had painted it and I had stuck some uh, pieces of wooden matchsticks in the slots because the slots to hold the uh, piece of plexiglass uh, so you can see into the feeder how, see how many seeds or how how much bird seed you have in there for some reason the slots went all the way down and there was nothing nothing the, the birds couldn't get into the feeder and there there wasn't a cut out of the pl plexiglass for them to stick their little beaks in there so I had to put those wooden matchsticks in and one of them evidently came out and I had to glue another one in there to lift that thing up a little bit so that they could get to the seed excuse me okay here we go here now. Still on the number seven setting. Haven't dialed this down yet. I thought I would after the first setting. I mean the first pass, I mean. I'm trying to get this perfect, so I'm shaving over and over over the same parts. I'll be right back for pickups. Hey, what time is it, Sarge? It's pickup time. See the magic clock? Sarge, everybody. Isn't he great? Poor guy. He's got to put up with me. Uh, I do feel sorry for him. He's going to eat some of his food down there, it looks like. Still on setting number seven. You have to be careful here.
I'm sorry if at some of those angles you couldn't really see what I was doing there. I'm going to rinse this and go over my neck pretty gently one more time. Let's see here. Again, I've been chasing uh, BBS, Baby Bottom Smooth, chasing that. Hmm. A little trouble spot over here. Maybe a trouble area. It never seems to want to be smooth. Okay, now I'm just gilding the lily, I think. There might be a little thing down here. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is, oh, hang on. This is, uh, pretty close to baby bottom smooth. I think, uh, well, I'm sort of tempting the fates by going on any further with that. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, I've already just dried off uh, my face and neck here with Mr. Tao, and uh, I'll put him back where he goes. Oh, that was nice. Um, I also cut that out of the of the video for just for time purposes. And okay, I'm gonna start a brief recap, then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave before. I got on camera, I prepped my face with this Prorazzo menthol uh, pre-shave cream, the large tub, which I'm going to need more of soon. My razor has been this twist to open adjustable, it's the Gillette, uh, the short handle super adjustable, also sometimes known as the short handle black beauty, and it's been on the number seven setting all the way through. In there, on its fifth use, has been one of these Persona 74 blades, new old stock. And let's see, my cream has been this Palmolive menthol shaving cream in the tube there. And my brush was the conversational shaving brush, official, it's synthetic by the way, in case I didn't mention it synthetic brush uh, made by Frank Shaving, available still, I think, on Ali. So there you go, there's that. And my bowl was this Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl, which is also, I'm told, a pet food bowl. <clears throat> okay, let's see, I think that covers that so far, so I'm gonna reach over and get some of the uh, T.M. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And apply some of that. This is running out too, but I have another bottle of it in the other room. And let's see. There may be a lot of sting here. This does have some alcohol in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling some sting. 
but it's also a refreshing feeling applying this uh, witch hazel. Very nice. It's the T.N. Dickinson's Witch Hazel available in stores. And now I'm going to reach for some of the Osage Rub, which is green menthol. Nice splash for the face and uh, body, I think. I'll uh, uncap that and get some going in my hands here. Oops. Hang on. You can't see this, but uh, I was kind of screwing up there. I was I squirted some on the floor. Not not too much. I got still got plenty left. I'll get some going on the wrists, up behind the ears, on the temples, back of the neck. Quite a bit of sting because I shaved so close. Um, but, but again, so refreshing, lovely menthol and eucalyptus scent, just lovely. If you've used this stuff, then you know how good it is. I think, uh, maybe barber shops still use that a lot. I'm sure a lot of your old school barber shops do. I do have that menthol, uh, kind of the, that like a cool breeze coming off my face and going right in my eyes there. And finally, we'll end with the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Aftershave Balm. They make a sensitive, and this is the sensitive cooling, which eventually I'm gonna need more of this too. I'm probably close to running out. Okay, let's see. Uh, that right there is probably more than you need more than enough because usually with these Nivea uh, the post shave products usually a little dab will do you and that's got a more of a balmy as in balm <laughs> balmy scent but it's also quite cooling I don't there's no eucalyptus scent in it it's just like balm and menthol so I guess it doesn't make you think of green cool it makes you think of blue cool like ice or something I don't know hey uh, that's it I gotta go uh, we'll talk to you uh, next time Peace out.